Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to make one of these really creepy but weird and surreal um, eye hands and clocks. You can see it's like time is slipping away from me, and there's the hand coming out doing this sort of weird 3D surreal thing. Okay, to do this is really simple. We need three layers. We need a layer with an eye, so to take a picture of an eye. We need a photograph of a clock. And we need a photograph of some hands, ideally holding something that you can edit out in a moment. So first of all, we'll sort the eye out with the clock. So the first thing we need to do is change the layer mode to soft light. Place the clock over the eye, like so. And then use a layer mask to filter out all the bits we don't want. So if we just grab the paintbrush, make sure it's fairly big. And then brush round, removing all the bits that we don't want off the clock. So we've got that sort of weird clock in the eye effect. Now, once we've done that, we need to put the hands into the eye as well. So we open the hands and we then work out where we want them. We need to select the hands. So we're going to go to select subject. Wait for Photoshop to work out what the subject is. If it selects too much, we can use the minus quick select tool to minus out the bits we don't need. Like so. If we do too much, that will happen. So we can just go on the quick select and select all the hands. And once we have done that, we will put a layer mask in. There's the hands. You'll notice that we want them the other way around so the shadows match. So we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and then we've got the hand the other way around, which will fit the shape of the eye more. We then select the hands, move them roughly where we want them, move them into place, and put them inside there. We can then spend a bit of time tidying up the edges because you can see they're all a bit of a mess at the minute. So we'll go to our layer mask, get our paintbrush, make it a lot smaller. And then we can start to tidy up where all the edges are when we did a quick mask, like so. And we can clean up these bits and this bit. And you'll see that with a bit of time and care, you can do a really cool edit. And obviously, we can then crop the image down. So it's just the hand and the eye. And if we're not happy with the size of this, we can change the size and make it a bit smaller and position it where we want it. We could do it in black and white as well. And um, it's quite a nice, quick, fun, easy edit. All you need to do, like I say, is have a picture of the hands, a picture of a clock, and a picture of an eye. Okay, have fun making your own one of these. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tick the notification bell to be let know when I make another video. And give it a thumbs up. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.